Hello, welcome back everyone to a new amazing video which is about EXO Player. And basically with EXO Player we can play all types of media, from audios to videos. And in this video we specifically see three types of videos, uh, which are a local video that is stored in locally in device, uh, in this case uh, a video in RAW folder, of course this can also be a video that you pick from device using a visual media picker or something like so. So if you have a video locally, we'll see how we can play that and an online video, so a normal mp4 or any other type online video and we have a live playback, a .m3u8 uh, live stream so we'll see how we can play these types of videos of course a live playback is a non-progressive video so you can't actually go back and forth with a uh, live stream and uh, these other ones are progressive videos so we can navigate or stick to different times uh, in the video so the first thing we need is to go to our build.gradle file because we need some dependencies there so let's go down here let's create space and paste these dependencies we have the exo player itself of course the media tree version and the uh, media tree ui for the uh, player view and uh, the exo player hls for live streams because we need a different media source for uh, live streams and just paste these and sync now after that I will just paste now this raw folder with a simple video on it which is this one and as i said if you pick a video from device then this will also work the same the same as this one that we have locally in raw folder and so let's now just get started with it the first thing is i'm just now going into my main on create function and call a function that is called player so and i'm going to create it right now so i'm just going to now go down here and create my function and it is of course a composable function that is called player like that the first thing I want is that I want my player to be lifecycle aware so if my screen is paused then I want to pause the player if it resumes I want to resume it and if it's completely detached I want to release the player to not have memory leaks basically so we create now a lifecycle event so we can just say life cycle by remember and that is a mutable state of lifecycle dot event dot on create. So we'll start on the on create basically. That's the default value of my lifecycle event. Import some stuff and I actually want it to be var like that and then import again. After that we need context. So I'm just going to create it right here. Var context is local context dot current. And uh, now the first thing we want for our player is a media item. And uh, a media item is just telling the player what item I want you to play, basically. And uh, let's create that. So var media item. And of course, we can create a media item from our URL of the video. So now we'll start with the local video. We say media item dot from URE. And the first one is a local the local video, so we just basically pass this one to create now our media item. For a local video like this, we don't need to create a media source, so let's go ahead now and create our EXO player instance. So we say var EXO player, but of course for the other types of videos, we create we'll create a, a media source. So EXO player is remember. And now exo player dot builder. We'll pass our context, of course. Dot build dot apply to apply some stuff to it after it's built. And the first thing is we want to pass now uh, to set our media item. So our media item, and then we want to prepare that. And we want to tell it to play the video when it's ready, so play or when it's prepared, basically is true so we want it to play it manually but just play it like that now we want to create a lifecycle owner for our uh, composable screen so the lifecycle owner that is a local lifecycle owner dot current and we want to use now a disposable effect so disposable effect uh, this is just how we know if our screen is disposed or is it detached and no longer visible so we pass our lifecycle owner and we don't need an effect and now we want to create an observer so var 
observer that is life cycle owner i mean life cycle event observer from here we get event which is what we want and then when my event changes i want to set that to my life cycle that i already created so event is equal to event like this and i want now my life cycle owner to observe this observer so uh, i mean uh, life cycle owner dot life cycle dot add observer and add in my observer after that uh, i want to call my on dispose function so on dispose that tells me that the screen is now disposed and the first thing i want to do is to release my exo player so exo player dot release and i want to remove the observ the observer from the life cycle owner life cycle dot life cycle dot remove observer pass in my observer like this so this is how i can now tell if my screen is detached and of course i just pass those events to these life to this life cycle that i created here so if uh, the event changes then i will actually observe that from this one and then i will act accordingly of course i will act when the screen is paused so to pause the player and when it resumes to resume the player that's all i need and now to display our player we need an android view because basically we don't have any video player in jitka compose so we need to use the normal one from xml basically that is the player view the media tree player view so we say android uh, view for that we need a factory but first of all i want to start with uh, the modifier so modifier modifier and i want it to fill the max width and i want to give it an aspect ratio of 18 by 9 so aspect ratio 18 f by 9 f like that and then move on to the factory in which now we need to have our player view this one from media tree we need to pass context to that and then we say that also and we say now a player view right here so we get the player view and then player view dot player is my exo player like that after that i want to use the update function so just to tell my player what to do also and uh, i will just say when my life cycle and i will now add the remaining branches using an OCD, but i don't need all of these as i said i want the on resume and on pause like that and uh, an else block as well and when that is else i would say unit so don't do anything basically and when we are in the on resume i will say it dot on pause of course it is the player view and then i will say it dot player dot pause and then when it's resumed i say it dot on resume like this so to just resume my player so i think this is it now for our local video I should see actually it's working so let's launch the emulator so here's my emulator is launching and here is my video actually it's working I think I want to change my aspect ratio to be instead of 18 by 9 where is that I only want 16 like this so we can now play a local video as we can see now let's move on and try playing an mp4 video this one and basically we just replace now our URE to be this one and then the first thing we want is to add the internet permissions since this is an online video that needs internet to be played so we add the internet permission on my manifest and then if I run the app it should actually work let's wait for it yes it is working so here's my online video as you can see but for this I would actually create a media source so just playing it directly to avoid any problems if the video type is different then it might not work i'm not sure but uh, to make sure that everything is fine i would create a media source that is of type of course media source and it is for now a progressive media source since in our video we can stick to different parts on it so we'll use a progressive media source this one dot factory and then we say default http source dot factory like that dot create media source from my media item and then i basically no longer need to set my media item because it's already here in my media source i just need to set now my media source and uh, we need to add this annotation 
up here as you can see let me just fix this like this and now with uh, our media source let's try playing the video here it is now that is now better uh, with our media source of course we can avoid problems and the last type of video we want to play is a live playback so a non-progressive video basically so let's paste that a live playback usually ends with a dot ts or a dot entry 8 in this case we have this entry 8 and then all we need to do is to change this progressive to hls media source as i said we paste that in our grid file so we need that of course this type of video won't work with the normal progressive media source or won't actually work as well with no media source so it needs this hls media source and let's run the app now so let's wait for it to load and here it is this is now a live playback basically so we've just seen how we can play different types of videos from live videos to online ones to local videos using xo player and now this is it actually for this video don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you find what i'm doing helpful and to support the future of this channel see you in another video and bye